All right, so now that we've created or imported a new wallet, we're met with the dashboard here. And you can see it shows up here my balance because I have a few assets in here. Now, if you don't have any crypto in the wallet yet, your value will show as zero. Or if you've imported a wallet or sent coins already to the wallet, you will see that it shows a balance. As you can see here, I have a value of $27.32. All right, guys, I just wanted to quickly pause this video and just point out on why the chart is flat and my daily gains are set to zero. This is because it is a newly imported wallet for this video. So the StrikeX wallet has no past information to go off of. As time goes on and as assets are sent to the wallet, you'll we'll start to notice that peaks and valleys start forming. As the market goes up and down, you'll start to see dips in your portfolio tracking and you'll also start to see peaks. You'll notice in the next video, when some BNB is sent to my wallet, that the chart changes and it actually goes up. And with that out of the way, let's continue on with the overview. So I can scroll down here in the portfolio and I can see the assets that I have on my homepage here. I can have BNB, I have StrikeX, and Bitcoin is showing there. Um, I don't have any Bitcoin, but it's still there. Now let's say that we want to add some more assets to this actual page. Let's say we want to add or remove a token. So we're met with a few of the biggest tokens, BUSD, Solana, Ethereum. Now let's say that we want to turn these all on and we want to see every single one of them on that main page. I just quickly wanted to mention another option. If you don't want to paste a custom token address every single time that you're looking for a coin or a project, you can also go to the very top and click search name. Now, if the coin or token that you're looking for has already been listed in the StrikeX wallet, it will then show up. So I can just go ahead and type in DE, for example, and any coin or token that has DE in it will then show up. You can see I have Dent show up, MDX, MSOL, DXL. All these different tokens and coins that have been listed in the StrikeX wallet are showing up so you can easily just click the on button and then they will show up in your portfolio on the home page. So that's how you easily search something up and if you can't find it in the search then you would just go ahead and click the add a custom token address and paste in the address for it. All right let's continue on with the video. But let's just say we have a custom token that we want to add in here. Well we can go into the add a token page and we can click what chain we're on. So let's say that we want to add one from the Binance Smart Chain, we would click that. Or if we want to add one from the Ethereum chain, we can click Ethereum. Now, if we are on the Ethereum chain, we would just paste that token address right here. Uh, let's go back to the Binance Smart Chain. So let's just use this example. We're going to paste this, which is the cake for Pancake Swaps actual token as cake and we're going to click save it automatically gets that information of the token symbol the decimals etc etc so you can see now on my actual portfolio page here it shows all those assets that i turned on all those main ones that are included in the wallet and it also has cake at the bottom there i can click on cake it'll give me the chart it'll show me some of the peaks and valleys and everything i can change this from one day to one week and it'll give me more information uh now if we go down here it'll give us some information about the actual cake token uh pancake swap is a cake is a cryptocurrency blah 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 um it'll show you the website it'll show you the explorer it'll show you the contract it will show you all the important information 24 hour volume total supply, market cap, circulating supply, all-time high rank, everything that is important like that. And then at the actual bottom, they have a converter bit. So let's say that you have some BNB in your wallet and you want to buy some cake. You could just go ahead and click on this swap thing and it's going to say, let's say we want to buy one BNB's worth. That's going to give us 65 cake coins or tokens. And uh, if we wanted to, we could then click trade. It'll show you your holdings. So if you have any, it'll show you some of that information, your position, market value tokens, portfolio allocation, average price, transaction history, uh, information if you have any on here so all the information about uh, some of the markets and everything like that and also you can go to the news tab and it'll show you all the news to do with cake so we can go back there you can go on to the next page which shows stats my stats then show me the allocation of coins that I have in this particular wallet so you can see I have $12 of strike X I have $8 of Ethereum and $4 of BNB and it will show me my total invested and it will also show me my total return. It will show me my best performing down here and my worst performing. Now, this is great because it can show you your actual average of when you bought, the investment amount, allocation, your percentage and everything. And it looks it looks phenomenal. And again, if you have any transactions that you've been using while using the wallet, it is there. And then watch list. Let's say I want to add an asset to the watch list. 
So let's just say that I really want to add Solana to my watch list. I could click that star and it's now been added to the watch list. So if I go on, on the, the watch list tab, I can see the rank, I can see the assets name, I can see the last 24 hours of volume, and I can also see the average price. Now I can click on that and same thing, it'll take me here and give me that information. But if I just want to add it to as one of my favorite coins, it is right there and it is great to use. Uh, let's say that we want to add price alert, price alerts right here. So we wanna add a price alert. Let's say that we want to add a price alert for strike X, we'd click strike X, we would click price increase. And we would say, I want a price alert when strike X increases by 20%. We click that and then we go ahead and click activate. We click save alert created successfully. So whenever strike X actually goes up by 20%, it will give me that alert. Same thing, if I do it with any asset, if Bitcoin goes up by 20%, if BNB goes up, whatever the amount is, I price decrease. So let's say I wanna catch a dip on a coin. Uh, let's say StrikeX, I wanna do 10%. If there's a price decrease of 10% on StrikeX, I will get a notification, I can click save. It's going to save that and then I can go out of here and that is one of my actual price alerts then. Uh, notifications is empty right now, but if you were to get notifications for price alerts or different information, that would all go in there. And then on the front page, of course, my balance, this just shows my total balance. And then of course I can go ahead and change the time frame of this. So I can go to one week if I wanted to, the percentage gain, percentage loss in a week, six months or all time. So a uh, great amount of information on this main homepage. It looks phenomenal. It's great. Uh, the stats page is probably one of my favorite where it shows the allocation and the amount that I have and the total invested and the total returns. Phenomenal, phenomenal wallet and uh, just a great overall experience.